In the spike cable view of transesophageal echocardiography, we see the left atrium at the top, the right atrium at the bottom, and the intraatrial septum in the center along with the SVC and IVC. Although the patient was referred to investigate a possible atrial septal defect, no ASD, PFO, or POPVC was found. Instead, a large structure with turbulent flow was observed. The key point here is the continuous flow pattern that spans both systole and diastole. This contrast study helps rule out an ASD. In fact, the presence of continuous flow should raise suspicion of an issue related to coronary artery. The large echo-free structure is indeed a coronary artery fistula. A coronary artery fistula is an abnormal communication between a coronary artery and a cardiac chamber, great vessel or other vascular structure, bypassing the myocardial capillary bed. Small coronary fistulas are often incidental and found accidentally, but larger ones may can lead to myocardial ischemia due to a steel phenomenon, as well as arrhythmia, endocarditis, sign of significant left-right shunt, and even heart failure. Large coronary fistulas progressively dilate due to chronic high volume runoff from a high-pressure coronary system into a low-resistant chamber, resulting in flow-mediated arterial enlargement. This coronary angiogram of the patient shows the RCA with a large aneurysmal coronary fistula. The RCA is the most frequently involved artery, followed by the LAD. Typically, these fistulas drain into the right heart structures, such as right atrium, right ventricle, or pulmonary artery. This is the drainage site into the right atrium. This is coil embolization of the fistula. Detachable coils or plugs are typically deployed into the fistula tract under fluoroscopic guidance. Thrombus formation induced by this method leads to the blockage of flow through the fistula while preserving normal coronary artery flow. This view shows a completely occluded fistula. And uh, this post-procedure transthoracic echocardiography confirms successful coronary fistula occlusion. Uh, the high-density mass here is the coil. In conclusion, any dilated tortuous vessel-like mass with a continuous flow and a dominant diastolic component should prompt evaluation of a coronary fistula. In this case, the presence of continuous flow was key to the diagnosis.